Uh, it had a it says face ripped off. And um, it was after 10 o'clock on a Sunday night and I had to make a decision. Do I fix that dog in that mo moment in time? Or do I make another decision in my life to do other things? And the reality is, ladies and gentlemen, that I, I tried to fix the dog. And what I'm going to tell you now is not about me. It's about making choices, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not looking for a medal. You give up quite a lot if you want to try and change the hearts and minds of people. And the reason that I am prepared to do that is you. And Murphy. And Susan. Because Susan stood by me that night. And she is the next generation, ladies and gentlemen, who will take this on after I have died. And we fixed this little dog called Murphy. And that's Murphy back with his daddy. And that should bring you home. And this is Susan uh, sitting with Murphy afterwards. And she's a golden nugget of humanity, ladies and gentlemen, that is hopefully going to take that light forward in her heart to all of the dogs and all of the humans. But you know what? I've only ever been attached to one material possession in my entire life. And Susan robbed me of that because I ran out of money and I had to sell my Aston Martin. <laughs> what can you do? All I can tell you is that that girl is worth 10,000 Aston Martins. As is every single person and every single child and every single dog in this field. And I'm sharing that with you so that you understand the message of hope. And I was lucky enough once to have in my life a man called...